Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Matthew of Living Streams International, bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. This morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts with the words, Purpose Promoters. Now, are you aware that sometimes the, 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 the places you, you need to be, or the, or the things that you want to become, or the purpose that, that, that rings in your heart, or the things that you aspire to be, or the aims or the goals that you have, sometimes you need people who promote your purpose. Either they will speak well of you or they will help you. Either in, 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 in thought, in speech, or in conduct. In thought, in terms of in prayer. In speech, by speaking well of you. Or in conduct, the way they will handle you. They, they may say something, they may help you. They may extend a helping hand to you. I'm reading the story of Joseph all over again. And there are very powerful principles over there. And the principle that I'm going to share this morning is based on that thing which the butler did for, for uh, Joseph. You remember, I mean, the way Joseph conducted himself in the prison, that is what merited the butler speaking well of Joseph in the prison. If Joseph had, had promoted himself or he had conducted himself in a very bad way, in a very hostile way, he had not been very helpful to the butler, he had not been very helpful to the baker, he had not been very helpful to the captain of the guard, the one who was supervising his inconvenience. The Bible said it was the butler who recommended him. So the butler became a purpose promoter. Listen, in your walk towards your destiny, in your walk towards the place where God wants you to be, you will need people who are going to be speaking well of you, who are going to either give you a helping man, who are going to speak well of you, or even hold you in their heart with prayer or in their thoughts with well wishes. And all these things depend upon how you conduct yourself. If you conduct yourself arrogantly, you conduct yourself very, very, I mean, uh, uh, what, what do you call it? You conduct yourself like a scoundrel, like a thief, and all those other things. What's going to happen? The person who should recommend you He's never going to do it because he cannot recommend somebody he cannot trust. And so in your daily dealings with people, you never know who is going to be your purpose promoter. And therefore, there is a need for you to be very, very careful how you handle people. You might even be very surprised. That person may not even be very close to you, but maybe an observer who is just sitting on the sidelines watching you and watching the things that you do. I mean, it's, it's, it's very, very important. And that is why even in secular systems, when you're about to be promoted, they'll ask you for a reference or referees. That is somebody who's going to look at you and going to say, I know this person. I can recommend this person to somebody else. Sadly, sometimes you'll be very surprised when it comes to referees, somebody will say, I don't know that guy. Or maybe I know that guy. He's not a good guy. Or I know that lady. Hey, don't marry her. Don't go and get married. To don't allow your son to go and marry in that family. Purpose promoters are always around. They're lurking around. You may never know who they are. They may be known to you, or they may not be known to you. And what it is, that the way you conduct yourself will then make room for a good reference when it is time. Always remember, there are people who are supposed to be promoting your purpose. See you later.